Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm continuing the Zodiac series. I'm so sorry that it's taken me this long to continue this series, but I moved and it's just been crazy. I literally have all my shirts ready to go for my Zodiac videos and today we are doing Cancer, but I am going to be doing Leo next and then I have my Virgos and then last but not least my Libras. So Cancer season starts June 21st and ends July 22nd. I love me some Cancers and I'm just going to put this out right here, right now. You guys go the hardest when it comes to your makeup. I have found that the flyest people I know and that I've met are Cancers. That is crazy to say because I'm a Scorpio, so you think that I would say that Scorpios are the flyest, but every time I meet a Cancer, I could tell based off of their highlight, based off of their eye look. I don't know what it is, but you guys go off when it comes to your hair, makeup, outfits. I literally have never met a Cancer that's not put together, that doesn't care about their appearance. One of my best friends is a Cancer, my best friend Charlene. I was inspired by her to do my makeup today because she always does like cut creases and she always does like this really dramatic highlight it just always looks so glam and I feel like I have one of those faces that no matter how much makeup I put on it just doesn't go there like it just doesn't get taken to that level but I tried my hardest to go super glam today and I wanted warm tones even though cancers are water signs so you would think that I would do a blue color I just feel like cancers are so motherly and so loving and when I think of those qualities I just think of something warm so I think of something orange and red so that is why I went with this eyeshadow. I also am using the Caffeine Lights ColourPop Zodiac palette. I feel like I have to incorporate this in all of my Zodiac videos going forward. And it's funny because Cancer in this palette is kind of like a champagne. It's what I have on my lid. I've seen something online about the water signs like Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. About like one being the ocean, one being the river, and one being like the lake or something. But it says here, Cancer is the first water sign of the Zodiac. It's the fluid river that gets the emotion, ocean, and creative juices flowing. So unlike Scorpios who are fixed water signs, Cancers are cardinal water signs. I do have some uncles who are Cancers and just growing up I've always seen them as like motherly figures. Naturally they're just givers and they're just caretakers. They like to cook and they like to clean and they're organized and they're very home body-ish. But I do have some aunts who are Cancers. I have a best friend who's a Cancer, some other acquaintances who are Cancers. And actually a lot of the people here on YouTube and on Instagram are Cancers. Like Jaclyn Hill is a Cancer, Mac Daddy. And so every time I think of cancer, I think of like this really glam beat face. When it was cancer season, my Instagram was blowing up. Like all of the cancers on my Instagram, like Aaliyah J, everyone was just going off. Like I've never seen someone go off so much for their birthday as much as a cancer does. Now what I've realized about cancers is that because they're crabs, they have a hard shell but a soft interior. I feel like when you first meet a cancer, that hard shell really can throw you off. Like they are the type of people that have like that stank face. Like you guys are the type of people that people come up to you like I completely thought you were a you know what but now that I got to know you I know that you aren't but you guys have that natural like tough exterior but once you get to know a cancer like truly when they let you in which is not easy for a cancer to do once you're in you get to know the real them and you get to know you know their soft side like their emotional side and that caring side and that like I'll do anything for you side and I can really relate to that as a Scorpio because I feel like I protect myself with a hard exterior but inside Side. I'm like just trying to love and be loved. So I feel like Cancers and Scorpios really have that in common. Whereas Pisces, who is the other water sign, I feel like they're just sweet inside and out. Like you can almost just tell, like you want to go up to a Pisces and just tell your whole life to a Pisces. I feel like Cancer and Scorpio, especially when they're together, people are kind of like intimidated. But don't get me wrong, it's not like you want to go mess with a Cancer and like poke their buttons. But I just feel like even if you do poke their buttons, it takes a lot more for them to actually like lash out at you. Like they're the type to really hold things in and so my biggest advice for a cancer is to stop doing that and to stop holding so much emotion and just like anxiety inside and just let it out cancers are also huge on relationships Pisces and Cancer are relationship hoppers. I feel like Cancers, especially the whole, love to be in relationships. Like they feel whole when they're with someone. And so sometimes I feel like they'll settle for something even though it's not what they truly want or not what they truly deserve. I know some Cancers who are, when they're single, are always looking for love. And I feel like when you're looking for it is when you're not gonna get it. And when you do get it, it might not even be it. I feel like you really have to just focus on yourself, focus on your growth, on making you happy. On Another thing that I've noticed about cancers, and don't get mad at me, listen, sometimes the truth hurts, but I'm just here to tell you what I feel. Trust me, I was 
raw and open with all of the signs including my own so this is just me being completely raw out here but I feel like cancers tend to escape life I feel like Pisces and cancer tend to have these addictions and I've noticed and this is like across the board this is not just one two three people that I know they like to escape their reality so and most of the times that escape is through travel cancer has the most stamps in their passport because y'all do not stop traveling and I could even just tell on my Instagram who's a cancer and who's not one based off their fleeky makeup and two based off their travel posts so I just feel like cancers like literally every cancer that I know when I was on Instagram they were all away for their birthday this is just something that I've noticed of course there's single cancers out there and of course there's cancers out there that don't like to travel this is just something that I have noticed one of my aunts is a cancer and we've talked about this and we've sat down and talked about this and she's even admitted to me like I give too much like I put up with things that I shouldn't put up with I'm the one that cares more and loves more and sometimes I leave myself out but I just think it's like a natural born insect for cancers to give their all to somebody and what happens when you do that is I feel like you are left a little bit empty filling someone else's cup without filling up your own first and that's why I've always said like I always want to be in a relationship with a cancer because I see the devotion and the obsession that cancers tend to have with people but I will say one time I posted on Instagram like what sign was the worst that you've dated and I got a lot of females saying cancer and I was honestly shocked I was like what like who wouldn't want to date a cancer and a lot of people were saying like oh those emotional cancers can't deal with their baby cry selves like don't want to deal with that I never really see cancers as cry babies like I feel like they're emotional but they hold it in so I've always held this really like high standard for cancers like I'm always like they're like the ultimate for relationships although now I kind of feel like Capricorn Taurus maybe not Taurus Capricorn I don't know I kind of like go of the cancer thing but I'll tell you why so one time I was out single and there was somebody staring at me you know and I just kept feeling like this like intense stare and so I kept looking around and I'm like who's staring at me and then I make eye contact with you know this guy and we're just like looking at each other like I'm finishing my meal whatever I'm having a couple drinks and I leave the restaurant with my best friend we called our uber and while I'm waiting there I feel someone like right behind me so I turn around and of course it's the guy that was like staring at me inside the restaurant he's like you're really gorgeous like I want to get to know you and I'm like cool he's like let's go next door because the next door was like a club and I'm like oh like I can't like I, I already had like three drinks like I'm on my way home I need to go home and my uber is coming so I gotta go so I was like just curious what's your sign he was like oh I'm a cancer and I, I like lit up I was like really I feel like you never meet cancers because they're always like booed up somewhere so my uber was arriving so I had to go so he puts his number in my phone and I leave two days later I was like oh let me just text this guy I just say hi whatever I text the number and no reply I'm like, okay, he's busy, whatever, weird. I texted him again the following week and nothing. And I was like, that's strange. So a week later, I call the number and the number says like invalid. It gives me the error. And I'm sitting there confused. Like, why would you, first of all, stare at me the whole night, come up to me outside the club. And mind you, he kept telling me like, come to the club, come to the club. Like, so I kind of put two and two together later. Like he wanted me to hang out with him that day. Usually guys will ask for your number. That should have been a flag right there. He put his number in my phone. But still, like, why would you want to do that? And then give me the wrong number. Like it was just so weird I find out later a lot later he has a girlfriend I find that out on Instagram and I'm like makes sense he didn't mention anything about having a girlfriend while he came up to me it was like talking to me and trying to get me to go with him to go out it was just weird but I wanted to share that cancer story with you guys so something else that cancers are known for is being moody that whole like are you feeling crabby like the whole crab moody term is so true about you guys like you guys truly are moody and again I think all water signs are moody but I think cancers take the cake when it comes to that moodiness you guys have your high highs and your low lows and it's like very roller coaster in between but I can relate to that so that's why I get along with my cancer best friend because we're both always so like emotional and dramatic and like passionate and we just have our days we have our moments I wouldn't even say we have our hours that's how extreme I would go sometimes I feel like I'm a cancer I love that cancers are ruled by the moon which makes complete sense like your moon sign is your like kind of how you deal with your emotions so like my moon sign is in Capricorn which is like the opposite of cancer super cold and not emotional at all but my moon is in Capricorn but if you have a moon in cancer you should totally look into that I feel like that makes a huge difference or a Venus in cancer your Venus is how you love or how you show love definitely check into your whole chart it's not just your Sun sign or your moon sign like your Venus your Mercury 
It says here that the greatest overall compatibility for Cancers is Capricorn and Taurus, but I'm gonna argue and say that any sign is compatible with Cancer. I feel like even with their moodiness, I feel like Cancers are so easygoing. I feel like they could put up with any sign, seriously. Like, they might get bothered by certain signs, but at the end of the day, if they really like that person, they'll deal with literally anything that is thrown their way. So you can throw anything at them and they'll still deal with it because they themselves are loyal. I have found that Cancers with Leos, like, it's it takes a certain individual to be able to deal with a Taurus or a Leo or even an Aries or Gemini and I feel like Cancers can do it like they're up for that challenge because they're not so phased by things like let's say someone messes up a Cancer will get a little upset but the next day they're like lovey-dovey oh and that's another thing I find Cancers to be super lovey-dovey like they like the pictures and they like the captions where like a Sagittarius is not about that life they're like super private but yeah Cancers are very like open about their emotions it says for Cancer traits the strengths tenacious highly imaginative Yes, you guys kill it when it comes to anything creative loyal emotional sympathetic and persuasive and your weaknesses Moody pessimistic suspicious manipulative insecure. I'm gonna throw in there It's not really a word, but you guys really like to gossip as well If you ever want some juicy details or conversations talks with cancer because they know all the tea on everything Literally, it says cancer likes art home-based hobbies relaxing near or in water. You guys do love island tings helping loved ones a good meal with friends and dislikes strangers any criticisms of mom having a cancer parent is probably super nurturing and like they almost just baby you actually i've seen that go super extreme <laughs> like i know someone who's a cancer they're just so attached and obsessed with their kid it's a little much but yeah so i feel like that nurturing you know you gotta like ease up on it sometimes again it depends though in relationships some people like to be smothered get yourself a cancer because cancer will devote their whole lives to you let me know like always if you're a cancer if you're dating a cancer if you're married divorced let me know about cancers in the comments let's discuss the sign cancer i feel like i would just want to clear this up yes the zodiac videos have to do with the makeup but i feel like more so it has to do with me talking about the sign so i might just rename this whole series like not just makeup tutorial if you have any suggestions on like how i should name these videos so that it's not so like makeup based because i kind of want it half and half i want to make Base, but also just me talking about the sign let me know also if you want me to do like other astrology videos like once i finish this series let me know like what you guys want me to talk about or maybe we could do like a q a with zodiac i don't know maybe there's like a zodiac challenge out there i'm rambling but yes let's talk about cancers in the comments and let's go ahead and jump into this makeup tutorial that i came up with for my super glam bomb af cancers so we're gonna go ahead and get started first i'm just cleaning up underneath my brows with some tarte shape tape concealer and for an eyeshadow primer, I'm using the P. Louise base, and this is in Rumor 02. This is going to enhance the eyeshadows and make them look a lot more colorful. The first palette that I'm using is the Caffeine Lights ColourPop Zodiac Palette, and I'm using the shade Taurus, which is the perfect transition shade, and I just applied that with a fluffy brush. Next, I'm going into the Alamar Cosmetics Palette, and I'm using Coco Taxi, also with a fluffy brush in my crease. And then I went in with Tropico with first a fluffy brush and then a more precise brush to really get that pigment to show up. And I love this color. It's a super like fun orange and I love oranges in the crease. And to add more definition, I went in with Cafecito from that same Alamar Cosmetics palette. I'm just applying that to my outer V as well as into my crease. I applied that same P. Louise eyeshadow base on top of my eyeshadow, kind of like a cut crease, so that this Zodiac Cancer shade can show up a lot more. I love the P. Louise base under shimmers, and then I applied a little bit more of that orange in between, so that it's not such a like stark line, it just kind of blends into one another. So I love the Cancer shade, especially with that P. Louise base, it showed up so pigmented. And then here I'm applying Dose of Colors, this is extra baggage, and then I applied a little bit of fresh vitamin nectar water to my face before applying my lashes these are the lily lashes miami and for primer i'm using the tatcha primer and for foundation i'm using the lancome taint idol ultra foundation that went really fast i'm blending that out with a real techniques brush and then i went in with a beauty blender so that i don't have any harsh lines i'll have all of the products listed down below i concealed with the tarte shape tape and i applied that underneath my eyes to the bridge of my nose my chin and my forehead so i'm blending that out with a combination of the booty of the beauty blender as well as the brush and then to set my under eyes, I'm using this new Lancome Long Time No Shine Powder in Translucent. Absolutely love that. And I use that same powder to set my whole face. 
for a bronzer i'm using mac dark golden msf and i'm just using that with a marc jacobs bronzer brush and for my eyebrows i lightly filled them in with anastasia brow Wiz in medium brown and i applied that same cafecito color to my outer v here i'm just wisping away that translucent powder and i'm contouring my nose i use a little bit of dark golden and a little bit of hula bronzer for blush i'm using nars orgasm blush and for highlights, I wanted it to be pretty extreme. So first I went in with the LC Cosmetics Pearly Glaze and I applied that to my cheeks as well as on my nose. And then I went in with NARS Orgasm in Loose Powder and that just really made it pop. I contoured a little bit more with Uninterrupted by MAC. It's an eyeshadow. And then I just took those same shades that I use on my eyes underneath my eyes. So the Coco Taxi, Tropico, and Cafecito underneath my eyes. I applied some Lower Lash Mascara and then Costa Riche by MAC. And to line my lips, I use a Makeup Forever pencil. And then for lipstick, I use the KKW. This is Classic K and then Juicy Lip Gloss because I feel like cancers really like peachy lips. I set my eyebrows and then I applied the Amrezi highlight to the bridge of my nose and my inner corners for a little bit more pop. And then the KKW Brighten Powder in 3. And then I set my face with the Lancome Set It and Forget It spray. So that is the entire look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.